Good morning, my brother. Great to be with you this morning as we dive into Acts chapter 17. Which verse rose up for you? I'm going to dive right into it today, guys. And this is a message that's been brewing in me for a while. So Lord is obviously challenging me to allow this to rise up. And verse 24, this is the one that I'm going to grip today. So here you go. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by hands. Whew. All right. That's my G. Gripping the word. I'm going to move to R. My reveal is what a revealing message that God doesn't just show up in the churches on Sunday. My implementation. Guys, let this be a challenge, maybe to you as well as it is to me. As a Christ follower, with the Holy Spirit dwelling within me, I am the church, and I need to keep sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with those I come along on their path. So as we get introduced to others, I just think it is our responsibility as a Christ follower to share the good news, to share our story, to share what Jesus means to us. So my prayer is, Lord, use me today to connect to that one person. Use me to be the extension of your church here on earth. So the, I'm going to kind of keep that short and challenging, hopefully short and simple. Um, but I know that when I'm driving around, and during this pandemic, seeing all the churches that have been empty over the last few weeks and months, I just wonder, I just wonder, is God releasing the church, the people in the church to go be the church in their communities, at their workplace, in the soccer fields cheering on our kiddos or the football fields, you know, watching, watching our boys play, um, just to be available. So... There we go. Uh, let me close this out with a word of prayer, and I pray that you have an amazing day. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again as we open up the book of Acts of just how you show how the church really began. Lord, it did not show up in the temples or buildings. You took the people to the people, and God, help us to really follow that example. So, Lord, go before us, guide and direct our every step. And Lord, bring us that one person today that we would intersect with, that we can encourage on their journey of faith and direct them to you, Lord. We ask all this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. All right. God bless you guys.